Okay, well here we are in part five where we're going to create the barrel of the gun, uh, basically extruding it out from the front of this piece that we have already. So to start, uh, let's go uh, shift minus to go back to um, the original topology and just make sure that we've got a smooth wired shaded on so we can see what we've got so far. And the first thing you're going to notice is that we have this nice uh, topology here, this this sort of ring here and this ring here, and that's why we built this that that first shape the way we did, so that we'd get these nice little circles, uh, uh, rings that we could then pull out as the shape that we wanted. So how are we going to get those? Select those. We're going to go to press four to get uh, primitive selection. So you take this and then you go to here. You press A and you middle click, and then we're going to go shift click here, A middle click. And then we're going to shift click to get that little piece in the middle. So that gives us um, what we want there. And then we're going to poly extrude. Now this is going to come out uh, nice and straight. So it's going to come out like this, which is great. But I think if we go spacebar B, spacebar B, uh, we can get this to go where we need it to go. So there's a few places that matter here. So the one is this point right here right there. We're then going to press Q and we're going to go to this point right here where that other hole is. We're going to get Q and go to here, Q and go to here, and Q and go to somewhere about here. So that's where the whole shape um, comes, comes together. So B and we see that here. So the whole thing comes out like that. So now we're going to switch our selection and we're going to go this and then A middle click and we're only going to take that one ring and we're going to focus on that part. So if we press Q to get extrude, we're going to bring that out to, and let's just, we want to line it up with that, go Q, line it up with that, and Q, line it up with the end. Perfect. And then we also want to go in and grab this little piece here. And there, we press Shift A, middle click. And if we press Q, uh, we can bring that little piece out. And you see that that comes out to about there. So that's that's a piece that we needed as well. And you can, if we go spacebar B, you're going to see. You know that that middle section is a little bit set back, uh, but then you've got these two um, tubes coming out and doing what we wanted. Okay, great. So now we're going to just do a bit of cleanup. We're going to go inside to this area here, and we're going to go this Shift A there to select that ring there, and we're going to press Delete. Okay. Now we press three, get edge selection, double click on there, and we're gonna go tab polyfill and quadrilateral grid. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the other part of the inside. So we're gonna go select, oh, press four, select this, and then we're gonna go uh, A, middle click, this there, shift there, shift a middle click. So we've got all of that and we've got these two pieces here and if we go poly extrude for those we can just pull those out a little bit to add uh, the, the, the sort of detail into there which that's similar to the detail that you would actually find in that circumstance. So now we're going to do uh, a part that's maybe a little trickier uh, to get right but I think we shouldn't have too much trouble. We're going to go and take this, 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 and this, okay? And what we want to do is we want to poly extrude that and we're going to use transform extruded front just like we did before. We're going to go out like this, out like this a little bit. And then we're going to press E and we're going to try to, let's flatten that. And then we're going to push that down and rotate it back. A oh, the wrong way. Rotate it uh, this way. There we go. Uh, 
and we're going to move that up. It didn't do exactly what we wanted, but it's in the ballpark. And if we tumble around here, we'll be able to better deal with this. So if we press 3, we're going to press 3 to get an edge. Oh, 3. And then we're going to press T to edit that. Now, okay, so this is going to come down and come across. And we're going to come down and across. And then we're going to come down and across. And then we're going to take this piece and we're going to go down. And that creates this um, sort of shape here. And we can maybe, maybe we want to go a little more with it. So we're going to come down, down, down. This part's more of a sculptural thing to sort of get it to do uh, what you want. Uh, so it's a little more free form. Uh, but essentially you want to get that as a nice rounded piece um, from there. And that adds a detail that you'll find on a typical gun and one that we are able to take advantage of here. So now if we uh, tumble around to the top, we're going to press 3 to get uh, edge selection. We're going to select this edge right in here. And once we have that, what we want to do is press poly bevel. And in this case, uh, we want to set the distance to 0 0.0025 and we're going to do the shape to solid and the divisions to 2. Okay. Now if we go to primitive selection, we've got those two th selected there and we're going to go poly extrude and is this, well, it's going off on a direction now. We want to go transform and let's go T, and we're going to bring that up. Oh, it did them as separate pieces. Um, we don't want that. What it did was it did them as edges. So what we need to do is, let's go into here. Uh, I forgot that we were working with edges with poly bevel. So what we really want to do is go four, select these two faces, and then poly extrude those. Uh, it's very easy after doing a bevel to go to a poly extrude and forget that you're working with edges because poly extrude does work with edges, but it gives you different results than what you probably want. And this one transform exclu uh, extruded front, and we can lift that up. We go spacebar B, spacebar B. Let's go W. We can see that we want to size that to about there, and we want to add divisions of about three. Okay, excellent. So now uh, we want to press two. And we're just going to press T. We're going to move this over here. We're going to move this over here. Move this over here. Move this over here. Move this over here. And there we go. Now we've got that shaped. And we press W. You'll see there's that piece of geometry there. And then in terms of... Um, topology. We might come clean that up later, but I don't think we're going to have to because of the way we're doing our creasing. I think we'll be in good shape. So now we want to go and look at this. We sort of created a little bit of a shape in here. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to press four. We're going to take this shape, this shape, and this shape. So you can see them there. Press delete. And then inside there's one, two, three, and press delete. And the reason we're creating this opening is there's sort of a spring coiled uh, part of the revolver that's going to go in there, and we need to create an opening for it. So the next tool we're going to use is we're going to use poly bridge. So we pick the poly bridge tool. We have to go three for edge selection, and we're going to start by double clicking the outer edge that we just opening that we just created and press enter. And then we're going to double click this inner one and press enter. And you see how it's bridged from one to the other in a nice, clean, straightforward way. And that gives us the shape that we need. So that's, that works out well. And we're going to leave the division set to one and that will work fine. Tab null. And we're going to put that out here and we're going to go call that 
body out. If we were go now and we were say, okay, let's do our shift plus to see subdivision and let's get rid of um, smooth, go to smooth shaded so we can better see that. Let's go in the select tool and let's just change um, selection type to four. Okay, I think somewhere we've got a, let, oh, let's go to the body out, select. So everything's looking good at some level, but it's a little gooey in some of these areas. It's, it's the poly, uh, the subdividing is not under a lot of control. And part of that is because of the creasing that we did earlier is not being picked up by the more recent node. So what we want to do is we want to take these two nodes and we're going to wiggle them out so they're not part of that. And we're going to move them down. And this is one of the, again, one of the benefits of the node network type is when you've got procedural nodes like this, uh, they can be used where you need them. Okay, that's taking a little longer than I was hoped. And what we're going to do is just take them and insert them into there. And now you'll see that we're getting much, but everything that we just built is now part of that same creasing. So we're getting a good result there. And part of that is tied to the fact that this, this node is, if you go to the select tool, you'll see it's doing its job and it's, now it's sort of picking up some other edges in there. We might want to try a slightly different number, 60. Okay, well, we can play with that later. Anyway, so there we go. We've got uh, the nice result that we were looking for uh, and we are ready to add more details. And of course, if we go back to the object level, we can turn on the cylinder and evaluate everything that we've done so far. The next part will be to do the trigger and the handle and uh, add those details to work on, you know, flesh out the back of the, of the revolver.